and after getting it but deep inside i want to be a speaker like from from uh, like last two three years i always uh, look for like learning speaking skills and everything and in childhood also i used to enjoy taking part in debates and uh, elocution competitions and everything so uh, yeah I, i deep inside i want to be a speaker a very good influential speaker but then i think there is some problem with my confidence and stuff and i um mm, and um, i i don't know like the actual way to uh take my career ahead so this this is where i'm standing but yeah that, that's that's uh, pretty much about me in context to this <laughs> meeting okay very good fair let's do this so i'm not this is not a public speaking career coaching moment right now okay. but i'm Before happy to ahead, help you i just sorry to interrupt you so they should make sure that your uh if you're using a cell phone place it in a way so that your screen is not constantly moving because other people are also watching you uh, maybe you can so put it on a table or somewhere yeah so your both hands are free yeah yes okay. very good point you know, i know you're very excited you're very happy but just take a moment and settle down vishal i hope that is fine with you yeah that's that's brilliant so so sudesh i'm going to give you a topic um to start with it's a very simple topic you don't have to know a lot to to speak on the topic something like that and we will we evaluate exactly where you are in terms of speaking structure and if that's okay with you uh i would like to observe your speaking just for 2 minutes we'll put a stopwatch for 2 minutes and uh i'll give you some pointers at the end of 2 minutes how you how you did and what could you do because 2 minutes is enough for me to understand about a speaker for for how does that sound to you do you like do you think that's appropriate or how do you like to proceed yeah this is absolutely fine yeah okay very good i'll give you about 15 20 seconds for you to think before you speak so let's say 30 seconds and promise that okay 30 seconds to think and then 2 minutes to speak very simple topic you will get 2 minutes to speak only after 2 minutes i'll i'll say stop or anupam will say stop your topic is what i like in people and what i dislike in people simple so what sudeshna chakraborty likes in people and doesn't like in people but all you have is 2 minutes to combine everything that you say okay so your 30 seconds starts now you can think about it and guys everybody else right now this topic sounds very simple until you are on video you know uh if i bring you now you, because right now i want all of you to also think uh as sudeshna is preparing for another 20 seconds is how would you handle this topic understand that it's not just the content it's about the structure of the content instantly that you put in sudeshna you have another 10 seconds and that's exactly what we're going to do so instead of when you said 10 seconds i actually saw 10 seconds on the timer impact the timing Thank you, and we are done. We are ready now. So, yes, we are. So, Deshna, your time. Yeah. It's two minutes. Okay, starts now. Go. Okay, so, uh, starting about my topic, uh, what I like in people and what I dislike in people, uh, I would like to mention that everybody has their own perspective of things. uh they behave in a certain way they act in a certain way they tell something but what makes me feel like i like that or i don't like that is totally dependent on my perspective of things so uh one thing that i do probably most of the time is when when i like something in people uh i i take it i i keep it in mind and after my day ends i i just try to think like why did she like act that way like how is that particular action benefiting that particular person and also when uh, i i dislike something i i try to understand like what what is the mindset uh, of that particular person who is uh, speaking or doing this particular activity something ma- must have been going down uh, his or her mind uh, uh, in in like uh, i i generally read uh about minds and human behaviors and everything so from that perspective i like to uh understand like why is that particular person behave in a, a particular way and why another person behave in another particular way uh apart from this i would like to say that um one of the most important um uh, thing that i i like in um uh, okay i want to say something go, go on go on 15 seconds finish it Oh, okay so 
um, yeah, this is this is basically about what I like and what I dislike. And uh, it, 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 we, we should not judge a particular person by uh, uh, their their way of acting or behaving. Thank you. Yeah. So actually, I was supposed to say that I went blank and I was not understanding what to speak. And I, I couldn't like formulate my whole, whole sentence and everything. I had a lot in my mind, but I couldn't take it up. Mm. Mm. Arupama, what, what do you think? How did that go? I could resonate with what she said because I saw that she started with a certain group. First of all, Sudeshna, I would like to appreciate you for your effort. Yeah. Not everybody uh, can start and then continue. Some people go blank, some people stop, but you continued with your effort, completed the entire timing. That itself speaks a lot about your effort. So good job. But when you started, you started with a certain flow and uh, a certain confidence, which diminished, I think, with how you spoke. And with your flow, I think it, it was just getting a little bit, you got a little confused in the middle and you mm -hmm. didn't know after a certain time what you were saying. Vishal, uh, what do you recommend for Sudeshna? What can she do to improve her, her speech? This is too how, did that, how did that go? What do you think, Sudeshna? Okay, so that went pretty bad. Pretty bad, I know. Um, pretty bad. Okay. And yeah, and I would like to mention this. Uh, that sometimes I am a very good speaker. Like uh, past uh, last year, I have taught people about different things, like maybe a class full of 60, 70 students, and I'm full of confidence. And I was speaking really well, and I liked it. It satisfied me. In school, in elocutions and debate com competition, I used to come first. So it satisfied but there are certain times like what happened just now, what happens in my company where I'm writing, working right now. Like, see, even now I'm fumbling. So this happens to me a lot uh, nowadays. And maybe sometimes I don't know, like I really do not understand why it happens and when it happens. Like sometimes I'm a really good speaker and sometimes I just mess it up. Like, for example, this speech was so bad. So, yeah. Okay. First of all, I appreciate your honesty. Guys, let's hear from you quickly. Uh, how, how much would you rank um, Sudeshna? Zero to 10. No, no judgment. Zero means very bad and 10 means she was very good. What, what would you say? G give ourselves a ranking so we can see. Okay. Six, five. Okay. How, uh, four. How much would you rank Sudeshna? Mm, two. Two. Okay. Seven, four, six. Okay. So here is what went well in your speech that you started confidently. You, you knew that you are, you are, you're, you're picking up in the beginning, first 15, 15 seconds, you're picking up. Then what happened is you lost track of where you are. So the mistake you made, Sudeshna, is you started thinking sentence by sentence. You did not have the entire thing ready beforehand. Are you getting? You have to think like a chess master. Have you ever played chess or do you have in, anybody in your family that plays chess? Mm. I, I know like they think beforehand, but no, I, I don't have any experience in playing chess. No, not only they think beforehand, they think five or seven steps ahead of time. So okay. they know if this happens, I'm going to do this. If that happens, I'm going to do this five step ahead, not one step at a time. How you spoke is your thinking, like what I like in people, what I dislike in people. And before you know, you see, my goodness, it's 21 seconds left. What do I do now? I'm going blank. And my I'm, I have so many. So And before you know, it's tink, 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 tink. This is life. This is life. This is how it works. Doesn't matter, Sudeshna. I'm, I'm saying it out of respect. Doesn't matter how you used to speak there. You are as good. Sachin is as good when he was playing as his last performance. That's it. You're as good as your last performance. Not what you do out there one year ago, six months ago, or even yesterday. You're as good as your last performance. Now, let's come back to how to make the presentation better. You started saying that one thing was that you like good behavior in people. Is that something that you wanted to communicate? Uh, no, I wanted to communicate that I read about human behaviors and psychology. So when I see a behavior, so I generally think about it that why is this person acting this way? So this is what happens. So I wanted to communicate that. Okay. So now let's, let's come back. You're not going to give a speech now. You tell me two points, two characteristics of people that you like in people. One or two. Very kind and very polite. Kind and polite. Polite, okay. yes. Dis dislike. Two characteristics that Are you dislike. Rude and um, and harsh, I would say. Like using abusive language or hmm. harsh. Abusive. 
So I'll type harsh for now. So rude, harsh, pretty much, pretty close. Can you take something, something different, a little different? Yeah. Let's take rude and something else. Uh, I don't like in a person. Take your time. Okay. Take your time. Slow down. Take your time. You have time. I'm here for you. Okay. So I don't like in a person. Dishonesty. Dishonesty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want you to give me a first name. You don't have to tell me the relationship with that person, whether that person is a friend or a relative or uh, somebody in the family or a, or a colleague. One person in your life who's rude, you, you know them personally, somehow, who's rude and dishonest. Can you tell me that just the first name of that individual? Mm. Ani. Ani? Ani. Hmm. A and I? Hmm. A and I. How long do you know that in Ani for that individual Ani for? Six months. Six months. Six months. It's a, it's a colleague, so it's, it's clear, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and, and that person that you like, kind and polite, one individual, first name, who's kind and, kind and polite? Vaishali. You, you, how, how do you know Vaishali? Four years, uh, same roommate. Same roommate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you give me one example, like a specific mm -hmm. example when Vaishali demonstrated kindness and politeness in one incident? Can you quickly tell me in five, 10 seconds? Mm -hmm. Politeness, when like whenever I told anything to her, she was very, very active listener and she understood my points. And then she replied to me in a very nice way. Like she has never talked, like even if she scolded me, she that was there was a politeness in it. And kind, when I was ill, when I had sick, I, I was sick, uh, she took care of me. She was my just a friend, but she took care of me like my mother or sister. Uh, how long was it ago? Like the sickness, the last time she took care of you when you were sick? 2.5 years. Okay. 2.5 years ago. Okay. Uh, you had fever? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this individual, Ani, uh, what made you say that this person is rude or dishonest? Any specific incident that happened? Mm -hmm. Like I made a mistake and it's okay to make a mistake for everyone who is new. Uh, and she shouts. She shout, shouted at you. And sometimes she's very polite, but whenever there's a mistake, she shouts. And I, I don't like anyone, even if my mom is politely telling me something, I, I, I'll listen to it, like whatever she is telling. But if she scolds me or shouts at me, specifically rudely, I won't listen. So this is something that I have. I yeah. don't like people who are rude. So now I'm going to be Sudeshna and you watch how I give your speech. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same thing that you told, but it's properly structured. Now let's come back how you spoke to a few minutes ago where, you know, for two minutes, you're like, Oh, what do I say? What do I do? I, I, I do. I study human psychology, you know, everybody has perspective. Now watch, imagine you are giving the speech. So you're, don't, when you're watching me, don't be in awe thinking Bishal did very well. Think you are speaking that way because you can, if I train you in the next mm -hmm. six months is possible. Do you see yourself in the next six months to be a powerful speaker? If you get into our community, what do you think? Yes. Yes. Okay, so two minutes. You tell me when you want to start. Stay, say start anytime you are ready. Start. Oh, sorry. One second. It became three. Okay. Say anytime you're ready. Start. In this world, I like a lot of things in people and I dislike a lot of things in people. And everything that I'm going to say in the next one minute and 49 seconds is based on my perspective because I study psychology and I, I you know, exactly observe and journal on and think about and introspect and reflect on what I like in people. In the next one minute and 40 seconds, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about two individuals. Number one, I'm going to talk about Vaishali, who I know for the last four years. I'm going to talk about Ani, who I know for just six months. What I like in Vaishali is she's very kind and she's very polite. I want you to think about somebody in your life. It might not be Vaishali, somebody who's very kind and polite, because I remember any time I tell anything, anything personal, anything secret, instead of giving me an advice and becoming a guru for me, Vaishali always listens to me with an open heart and open mind. And in any times she has to tell me something tough or scold me, she does it with politeness. And I remember two and a half years ago when I was sick, I was scared, you know, I was having fever and I had 103 fever. I could not walk out. I remember Vaishali took care of me, just like my sister, just like my mother. She's kind and she's polite. And I think we all need a Vaishali in our lives. Second, Ani, she's very rude and sometimes very dishonest. I know her only in my profession right now. And in the last six months, I've seen that anytime I make mistake, 
she gets very angry but any time and she shouts and she's disrespectful and any time she makes a mistake she's okay with that now you make a decision who do you want to hang out with vaishali or ani but i think the more important question is who are you becoming in your life as a leader as a father as a mother as a daughter as a lover as a partner as a friend are you becoming like vaishali or are you becoming like ani because there is a lot of anis in the world lot of rude and dishonest people but i think it's time for us to become more like vaishali where there are more people who are you are kind and polite starting tomorrow be more like vaishali be kind and be polite 2 minutes Wonderful. what did you observe sudeshna what was different in what what i did now i want to hear from you observation everything was structured like you talked about kindness rudeness dishonesty and a uh, politeness so it was pretty much stuck structured you had a, a thought about the time so you divided it like half for describing one person and half for describing another person so sense of time and and confidence of course yeah, yeah. and at thank you and and at no point was i running out of time because i have in my mind what i'm going to do next i'm thinking like a chess master it's not about just being a good talker it's about being a good thinker about speaking before you become the speaker so deshna does that make sense to you absolutely absolutely good so sudeshna we did that storytelling that's a good point rajat so we did two sides you know you could imagine vaishali here you could see ani here mm -hmm. and we are just giving the two sides it it's called you know um geographical anchoring i'm this is the vaishali this is the ani and every single time i'm talking about kindness and politeness i'm showing this side every mm -hmm. single time i'm talking rudeness and and um, you know dishonesty i'm showing this side these are the small nuances that make the all the complete difference so so sudeshna i want you to think about if we did do it in 5 minutes what we can do in the next 6 months i understand good awesome thank you so much for playing anubama you can take her to the attendee list we'll we'll go and finish thank, the teaching thank you for now. very much thank you so thank much you very thank much. you i appreciate that right. sudeshna thank you i hope you've taken notes i'm going to move you to the attendee section again everybody type ptw in the chat box ptw for power to you to sudeshna ptw only for for sudeshna because she took the time to be here right now so give her some power absolutely rajat power to you power to you power to you pty sorry not w pty power to you so uh the second uh, thing we're going to talk about quickly now is we have to run out of time uh we have to you know uh, like not run out of time i mean we have to hurry up a bit is power words power words there is a message let me quickly read suddenly this message has come um i hope you remember me bishal i came to you in 2018 i had fear and judgment then but since I attended your level one and level two programs. I've become confident and powerful. Recently, I've been promoted to a senior manager. It's the biggest uh, promotion of my life. I saw this webinar happen today. Came to say thanks, Pishal. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Everybody, say uh, what is that? WTG. Way to go. WTG in the chat box right now for for Krishnan. Came to our program. He massively improved. And yeah, things like this happen. It's because we make things practical. We don't hurry up. We we slow down. We give individual attention. and that's exactly how how the transformation happened so power words the second principle of uh, the uh, is power words now guys get ready